This is the Scooby-Doo that really makes Scooby-Doo a bunch of pop culture references. I'm in sound and I saw Scooby-Doo Mask of the Blue Falcon. It is directed by Michael Goldwyn. And if you haven't seen this movie, I will spoil it for you. The Scooby Gang is at Comic-Con. I repeat, the Scooby Gang is at Comic-Con. This is the Scooby-Doo that really makes Scooby-Doo a bunch of pop culture references. I think it starts with this movie exactly. This movie is a commentary on all the types of blue falcons there have been, aka I think this is basically a Batman reference and also Superman, tiny bit of Spider-Man. There's not like a ton of definitive straightforward references, but there are like when you get there, you're like, ah, oh, I know where this is from. The suit in the dumpster is a literal shot in this Scooby-Doo. The one from Spider-Man 2 and the one from the comic. Oh my goodness, it's literally just references this entire movie. I'm not the biggest fan on the Blue Falcon guy. I think he's kind of a nut. I do like the amount of mastermind going behind the villain villain's plan, by the way. Oh, we got the new Blue Falcon movie. We're going to screen it at this con, but uh-oh, no, this con is being rampaged by a bunch of monsters. It looks like it's not safe here. Let's get it to the big old stadium. And I'm like, why, first of all? To get more people in, I guess? I'm not exactly sure what their plan is here. I just don't really like it that much. It doesn't seem like it makes any sense. Oh, let's show more people the movie that we made for millions and millions of dollars and let's just show it to people for free. You gotta have a lot of faith in your product in order to do that. You gotta have a lot of faith that people are going to want to look at this again after watching it. And if your movie is just mid, I don't know how many people are going to want to watch it again and pay for a ticket. I would understand if it's like word of mouth spread. But if it's not that good, it's just gonna be mid and nobody's gonna really remember it. I think this is definitely a big gamble on the marketing team. This is a point marked down for bad gambling because you don't know for sure if it's gonna be good unless you have a good product and then you gotta have a lot of faith in your good product or else you're gonna die. There ain't that much character development in this movie except for Daphne has an obsession with these I want to call them Furbies. I know that's a copyrighted term or whatever, but you have basically Furbies, the Scooby-Doo equivalents, and Daphne just has to spend a bunch of money. And I'm like, okay, Daphne is just spending money jokes during this movie? All right, I guess. Daphne is nowhere to be seen, and so we have a rare Fred and Velma team up. Wow. The monster the entire time happened to be the guy behind the movie to pipe up the movie. Who knew? I knew. This, honestly, I didn't really care for this movie that much. I do like the setting. I found the setting was really, really interesting and inspired. A very inspired setting. Personally, though, I wish there was either more pop culture references and like less plot or more plot and less pop culture references. I feel like the mix that's achieved here is a little off-putting. I can't really tell if I'm supposed to take the Scooby-Doo movie seriously or not. I think it's just something to put on and enjoy because it's on. That's really my impression of this movie. I like the comic stuff though, like all the comic transitions, all the comic paneling at the very introduction was pretty cool. I enjoyed that, but overall I think this movie is just pretty mid. Nothing too remarkable about it, not a lot of character development on anyone in the Scooby-Doo. So because of my personal enjoyment and my thirst for more character development, but I also appreciate the setting, I like the switch up in the setting, I gotta give this movie like a solid 6.6 .6 out of 10. 
If you like this review, watch another one. YouTube really likes that. You can also like, comment, subscribe, share this video with everyone. You know, the ultimate goal of this channel is for me to become an expert movie reviewer. So if I haven't reviewed it on the channel, there's a chance I haven't even seen it at all. But your request will be in the comments below. You can do that. You can fast track the movie review. Patreon.com slash ASC presents $20 a month for one movie review per one month. $3 a month. How to drop Hulk and watch tutorials posted early and first. All at Patreon.com slash ASC presents. And if you like to help for daily grindiness of all these daily movie reviews, you can go to this link tree to find the way that you can help support the daily grind of all these daily movie reviews. So you can go here. And until next time, it's Alsa. I'll see you later, my Sakutan's big bits.